Kobe Mainio has got a hit to debut for the side of England today as they lost to Brazil by one goal to nil. We are going to see what the three players of Man United that took part into this game of football really went ahead to do onto the night at Wembley. Welcome to the United Matters channel. Hope you guys are really having fun wherever you are. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and obviously you guys are really having fun wherever you are let's see close to 300 likes smash on this video as we discuss kobe may news debut for the england side ganacho yesterday night they went ahead to play against uh was it uh uruguay and went ahead to play 45 minutes i'm gonna bring you his game by numbers <coughs> mark thrashford has been part of the team that we went ahead to play today then tomorrow rasmus hoyland Ericsson into the mix as a Lindelof swallowed five past the side of Portugal I think it was <coughs> on a Thursday so that is what I'm going to discuss about here onto the United Matters channel we thank God for the gift of life the Muslims Juma Mubarak no, not Juma, Ramadan Mubarak and the Christians may the living to God bless you <coughs> abundantly lots of things I'm gonna hate to happen today but I've I, I really found it very important to obviously bring you this moment of Kobe Mainu this was the minute that saw Kobe Mainu come on to really do the needful and replaced Connor Garaga Mainu making his debut for England at the age of 18 74th minute that's when Kobe Mainu came on through to obviously start off his debut for the side of England and unfortunately um they went ahead to lose the game of football by one goal to nil but it was not because of um Kobe Mainu it was a mistake that was made by <coughs> the guy called Webster who really headed that ball uh, wrongly or sloppily into Andreas Pereira Andreas Pereira went ahead to release Vinicius Jr Vinicius Jr had a 1v1 situation with the goalkeeper <coughs> of England that is Pickford Pickford saved the ball but it really unluckily went in the direction of Hendrik the 17 year old went ahead to really hit that ball into the back of the net to make it 1-0 VAR had a look at the goal because the defenders of England were like raising up their hands in report to it being an offside but it was proven that it was not an offside but it was really great but for Kobe Menu, he really had a very decent game and let me show you his game by numbers in this particular fixture that happened at Wembley Stadium this was his game by numbers 15 minutes by Kobe Menu played plus the four added close to 20 minutes on the field of play <clears throat> 21 touches 20 out of 20 passes completed have you had one out of one ribble completed one out of two duels won it shows you how good this player is and he's that kind of player that will ever want to build into your team because he doesn't lose the ball he keeps the ball on his feet he doesn't really lose it sloppily like that and he competes with the opponents physically he's good technical abilities are really exquisite and he's really that boy that is gonna hit to emerge to do the need for in this game i really felt like it was just the startup and the reason as to why he never started for me was that he played 120 <coughs> sorry he played 90 minutes as man united was being was knocking out liverpool by four goals to three and it looks like ten Hag had gone ahead to give <coughs> the manager of england orders that i want my players to play such sensational minutes you know he doesn't want them to play very many minutes because these games are really not very important i tell you these games are not very important and we shouldn't be losing players we know that we are left with 12 games that are really very very important an fa cup semi-final that we deserve to knock out coventry city to go to the finale and <coughs> sorry about that and the 10 games in the premier league <coughs> brighton sheffield you know newcastle arsenal you know burnley mm, liverpool chelsea uh, brentford mm, arsenal you understand those are the teams that we are left with to play in the remaining game so we need our team to be physically fit to obviously keep going and that's why the minutes of kobe many were really balanced and it was no-brainer that he came up 
on the pitch with Marcus Rashford. But I tell you, if you look at Kobe Mainu and how he's playing for the club of Man United and his display in the 16 minutes 20, he has been the field of play. He has launched himself into that starting level of England. And I will, I will be shocked if Aroy doesn't start when England is taking on Belgium on Tuesday. He has to start in that midfield alongside Declan Rice to get in like like an hour mark minutes and then they'll take him off. That is it. So I just can't wait to see how that is going to pan out. It's going to be really a very interesting game on Tuesday. So for Kobe Menu, these are some of the photos that we really went ahead to grasp when he obviously did his entrance in there for you. Shot 21 was the shot number. He was really donned in and he has gone ahead to launch himself into that national team of England. That is Kobe Menu for you and that is with <coughs> that is him with Declan Rice after the game and really making the debut. Very young lad, very good and the rest is really up to him. You know what we what what, what they call having your destiny in your hands, you know? Kobe Menu is having his destiny in his hands. <coughs> that is it. Kobe Menu is having his destiny in his hands. That is it. So let's wait and see how that pans out. But it's all about the man, 18 year old player for the club of Man United, making his debut. And you're really excited of this guy and what else we expect to do. He's really one of those players that you'll obviously want to see <coughs> kick a ball for the club of Man United and not really get an injury. You know? All what you want to see him do is do the needful and put in a shift that is really well required for the club of Man United. Let's leave our Kobe menu on that note and let's go to Alejandro Ganacho as he played in the game where, where Argentina went ahead to beat El Salvador by three goals. By three goals to nil. They never had Messi, but Ganacho raised up to the occasion and the results were really nice for them it was christian romero in the 16th minute then enzo fernandez in the 42nd minute and and uh Lichesolo, who plays for spurs came in through and obviously put in a very good shift that was really required in there for you and um i want to really let you know the minutes this guy really came on the field of play <coughs> that is alejandro ganacho then we start from there Hmm. All right, let's wait and see. I'm here really waiting to see how this video went ahead to feature in there. Um, let's go to Friday. What is Friday? Friday, Friday, Friday. 22nd. All right. El Salvador, Argentina. Where are you guys? <coughs> So Ganacho came on through and really played 45 minutes between the side of in it was between the side of El Salvador and Argentina and this was his game by numbers 45 minutes <coughs> 37 touches 11 touches in open area 26 out of the nine successful passes three out of four successful deep balls three out of four grand duels won two out of Sorry, two chances created. That is Alejandro Ganacho in the 45 minutes. And this was really elite. Elite performance from this youngster. And we all know what he really brings onto the field of play every time he comes in through. And for Argentina, I think they had gone ahead to really drop him a little bit way back. And I think in the past four games, I'm not going to hate to see him don that shot of Argentina. But with his performances, I'm going to hate to put up in the jersey of Man United for the previous uh for five 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 months he has gonna hit to really get back in shape he has gonna hit to score i think is it five goals and his tally is like eight in the season that is really good for Alejandro ganacho some assists are really are really surging up on his side and nothing's really gonna stop him from obviously becoming the player that we think he should be in here onto the united matters channel that is kobe mainly for you Sorry, that is Alejandro Ganacho for you, and that's why those players are really ex are really doing great. He missed out uh, on the other games because he was really not performing well, but he returned with a bang. He also played 45 minutes because he played 120 minutes when you're playing against Liverpool on the 19th, I think, when you're knocking out Liverpool. You know, he played all those minutes in, in the tank, and the manager was like, 
you should be playing 45 because these players as they are released to their national teams they talk <coughs> to the clubs and the clubs tell them that please we want to see who managing our player better and better and better and that is one of those things that man united have gone ahead to do very well and they've gone ahead to keep the side of um they've gone ahead to keep the side of argentina in the no now harry maguire played 67 minutes in the game of football where england went ahead to lose in there for you but by the time he left he left the pitch he had not they had not gone ahead to concede but there was a very bad um oh sloppy pass he did and a mistake that resulted into rafinha getting himself into that moment of really facing the goalkeeper and couldn't obviously score in the 41st minute but the rest of the game harry maguire was really good and why did he play only 67 remember he was returning from injury <clears throat> he only played like 30 minutes when you're playing against liverpool at old trafford so he is not yet ready to play an uh sorry a full minute game and that's why he was played and given those minutes in but for him it's really good to see that he's going to get 67 minutes in his tank why because he needs this to happen to see it that when he returns as we play against brentford he's going to be able to compete with the likes of lisandro martinez remember lisandro martinez is <clears throat> has gonna hit to cut his uh spell with argentina short to return back to manchester to join the training of man united with the likes of the rafael verans and those other players that never went ahead to get back to get involved in the international break for the club of all for their respective countries so he's back and harry Maguire needs to step up his job so marcus rashford also came on in the 74th minute he played like 16 to 20 minutes into that game and he really put in a shift i saw him trying to do the needful and he really had a lot to do and i think he gets into the starting 11 as england takes on belgium on tuesday i think Kobe Mainu, Marcus Rashford are gonna start into that game of football against Belgium and we all have to pray to it that they don't get injured. I think on Thursday, Thursday or Friday, <laughs> Portugal went ahead to annihilate Linderoff's side that he captains that is Sweden by five goals to two. It was really an ugly display. It wasn't really an ugly display from Sweden, but defensively, they were really, 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 really annoying. They looked bad defensively. That's why they went ahead to concede all those goals in that period of time. That is what I had for you in here for you. Tell me your thoughts about Kobe Menu debuting for England. Tell me your thoughts about his debut and Alejandro Garnacho playing against El Salvador. Then, Rakas Rashford in the mix. May the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslims, Barak Laufikum, a sign out for now. See you later and Ramadan Karim. Bye-bye.